Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Siberia. Things are- we're getting close. We're getting- we're, we're on the right track, I think. Uh, we just met up with this weird composer-type musical guy who wants the singer to come and hang out with him. And he's a total stalker, but he stole my robot's hands. And- sorry, automaton. And in order to get the hands back, I have to go get the singer, but she's sick and she's in some, like, hospital. And, well... I know it sounds crazy, but if you've been watching, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And meanwhile, back home, my relationships are falling apart. And my fiancé, Dan, he's hanging out with my friend, Olivia. And she's just giving him company, keeping an eye on him. Bull... Loney. There's no way that's all that's happening. What the hell is this thing? Oh, I thought those were Doesn't flies. Doesn't look like that works. But no, those are definitely birds around some type of blimp. Oh, screw a car. I want the blimp. And there's this horn or something. It <laughs> uh, apparently does nothing right now. Wait. Let's see. I have tools. Not a chance. Also not a chance. Okay. That appears to be all that's up here, though. This game has been really challenging in some of the puzzles. I initially came into it thinking that uh, the puzzles were all going to be very straightforward. But the one with, like, calling... Um, calling my mother about dating that guy, because I had always been wondering, she keeps talking about, like, the singer, Frank, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, he, it just clicked. It was so weird. But I like that it's, it's different like that. It's not the standard, uh, puzzles that you normally see. There are some of those, but holy moly. What the hell are we getting into here? We can go up this way. Alright, let's go back. I don't want to get too ahead of myself here. Here, let's go in here. See if this is where the guy's hanging out. Hello. Anything in here? First of all, yeah, no. All right. His butt crack is showing. Oh my God. This is Excuse me, bad. sir. Uh, sorry to disturb you, but you who? Can you hear me? Three, two, one. Contact, and we have lift off. <laughs> oh, holy mother! A dame, a pretty dame on the launch pad. See the vodka bottle back there? Uh, please, Looks like no need to worry, sir. Just do stay calm. I just want some information. Watch what you're doing, sweetheart. We ain't got no information, no strategies, no plans to tell anyone anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Military regulations, you dig it, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have require some info. My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from... I mean... I'm a bit lost. And I guess you know this place. Boris Charov, at your service, madam. Can I offer you something from the bar? No, thank you. Tell me, how long have you been here? For as long as it took for you to come along, Sweet Pea. <laughs> Don't think I've been lonely. I got a bottle or two here. Keep me company? You're a soldier, aren't you? Ex-cosmonaut? Hey, honey, that's all in the past. Hell, let's talk about today. Let's have a drink. Now that's an order, soldier. Uh, please, can you try and get a grip? I must absolutely find a way out of this industrial complex. Jeez, me too. I've really got to get out of this dump, but not before I've had a little drink. Here, yeah. get your pretty little lips around this. Vodka, tell me what you think. Do you have a vehicle to <laughs> lend me? 
I think I'd even test one of your rockets right now if I had to. Sexual innuendo. Toast my rockets. Hey, pretty dame, I'll drink to that. <laughs> now, just a minute, we gotta need a special yeah, see? bottle he caught on. a special occasion. Something to blow you away. Three, two, one, contact, and we have liftoff. Okay, that's enough. What was that? Did you say something? Uh, are female comrades revolting or what? <laughs> oh, oh, trouble on its way. Bottoms up. Power to the babushkas. I heard that maybe you could lend me a vehicle or something? A vehicle? <laughs> All our vehicles were picked up and shipped out to the borders years ago. General's orders. I say, let us raise our glass to this finest soldier this country's ever known, little lady. I don't mean to offend you, but I'm not in the mood for a drink right now. And you'll live to regret it to your dying day, sweetheart. To your health, while you have it. Does the name Hans Varlberg mean anything to you? Kars... Berg. Uh, of course I know that name. But sorry, it's been a long time since I've seen something like that around here. <laughs> Varlberg. He's a person. I'm looking for him, and I think he might have come by here a few years ago. Well, in that case, let us raise our glasses to this brave man and his very good health. I came here by train, but I've got this mechanical problem. I had to leave the train down in the industrial zone. The director down there told me you were here. Nah, Borodin, that dumb traitor. I tell you, he's gone over to the enemy, over to the dark side. It's terrifying, the darkness. He eating out his brain. The <laughs> jerk. Mm, that's maybe going a bit far. He is a little eccentric, I'll grant you that. But when you live on your own, cut off from the world for so long... His brain's gone A-W-O-L, I tell you. <laughs> There's no darkness in my brain. I've got a cure. See? My secret antidote. Go on, have some. It'll stop you getting a cold. I don't think I'm in a high-risk category, but thanks anyway. So many birds nesting around here. What attracts them all here like that? Ah, uh, dumb birds. But at least a bird don't get bored, does it? See, they can fly. Them birds, jeez, they can fly. Sounds like you're jealous of them. Well, maybe you're just right there. Because sometimes I like to let Soyuz loose and watch him circle for hours on ends. The birds, they crap themselves when they see him coming. Don't stop him coming back, though. Soyuz? Soyuz, ma'am. A silver angel. A savior who cleans our cosmodrome of them dirty rats with dirty, dirty wings. wings. <laughs> All right. I need to get to Arrowbad, and quick. You go ahead, soldier. I'll stay here and keep you covered. I got the supplies here. Gotta keep an eye on them. Tricky job, too, you know? All these bottles. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's I was get going out of here. to... Oh, forget it, it doesn't matter. He's too drunk to help anyone anyway. I am not drunk. I have drunk. A little. <laughs> Okay, let's, uh... Oh, I can grab this vodka bottle. Strange. Sure, I left a bottle or two around here. I gotta get some air. Wall's getting pretty tight. We'll think about that blast off later, huh? Are you okay, Colonel? Are you sure you're all right? Uh... Mm. Yeah. Mm. Where is he going? Oh, he's gonna bail. That Be is, careful! That's not Don't good. lean out too far or you'll... <laughs> ah. oh. oh! Oh no, what? What the hell? Uh, okay. I 
I need a key. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to wake him up. I hope he's not dead. This is connected. Maybe he's got a key inside, but... What the hell? <laughs> this drunk, like... <laughs> oh, I just find it so funny. Drunk people. Oh, we do have something here. Okay. They come Kalsgrad Cosmodrome. Subsequent to inspections over the last year, our comrades of the Government Space Commission have reached an unfavorable conclusion concerning the Vorlberg Project. Oh! The Vorlberg Project. Here are my findings. Space Commission is convinced that Hans Vorlberg's research will yield no concrete results capable of serving the military interests of our country or advancing a space program. It is considered that this project will only bring ridicule to our country and give a very poor image of our national space industry. During the last few years and a long succession of fruitless attempts, Comrade Vorlberg has clearly demonstrated the limits to his knowledge of mechanical sciences. Consequently, we have ordered the irrevocable suspension of the program. It has been deemed counter-revolutionary, and we now withdraw all collaboration from Comrade Vorlberg, or with Comrade Vorlberg. This decision has been approved by the Supreme Soviet, who adopted with a clear majority the Central Committee Directive of April 15th relating to the definitive cancellation. Interesting, okay. So this is all, this is all cancelled. And maybe that's why he's all off on his rocker. And key, perfect. That's got to be the key, right? Wait, can I grab this picture of him, maybe? Be like, this is who you once were. No, doesn't appear to be the case. All right. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going with it. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. I'm confused. What does this thing do? Okay, that's like where it started. What the hell? Do I need to like... Give him the vodka? something I'm missing here. Let's go down here and see if there's anything. Observe him. Like, I'm just not sure what I should be doing here. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna like reset this thing back to where it was. Wait, what's this? Oh, did you guys see that? Right there at the corner of that thing, there's like a little, um... There's like a little wheel there. Is that something that I can use? Maybe I missed it when I was down here last time. Right at the edge here. Is that a thing? I don't know. Yes. It's a thing. 
What is that doing? Is that putting... Is water flowing in there? Okay, we're gonna try this again. I don't know what that did, but it did something. shower him. Well, that's what that is. Okay, so I just gotta get him in the right position. And then drop water on him. So that valve, that did actually open some water. And this should, like, wake him up, hopefully. That's the plan. There he is. Ah, hey, what's happening? That's water you got there. Stop it! Now! You want me to drown? Okay, now, can we go talk to him again? Now maybe he's like Calm sober down. from the water. It's all right. Just a little wake-up call, that's all. You must have had quite a bit to drink. Gee, you right there. Yeah, he actually Not even sounds first different. Time either. Probably won't be the last. Man, my head. <laughs> Please, could you whisper? Please, do excuse me. But it was the only way I could think of to bring you back to your senses. A little extreme, maybe. But I get the impression you're a lady who likes to see results. So I'm gonna try talking to him again. Maybe while he's sober, he can actually like tell us. I some came stuff. here by train, but unfortunately, it broke down. I've got to get to Arrowbad immediately. Someone told me you might have a vehicle to lend me. Someone? Who might that someone be? I oh, hope yeah, you're not he's talking like, totally about Sergei Borodin. Well, <laughs> yes, I am. The director of the industrial complex below. Be careful, ma'am. He is not a rational man. He can be mean and very dangerous. He suggested I come and see you, actually. But I get the impression that he doesn't care much for you, either. I don't care what he thinks of me. All I say to you is, watch out for him. Okay. He's, like, we know he's weird. We know he's, like, completely sketchy. There aren't many vehicles on this base. When they decided to close the Cosmodrome, they towed all the useful equipment away. It doesn't matter. I'll find some other way. If I can help you, please, just ask. Oh, now he's all helpful. This is great. I'm looking for someone. Hans Varlberg. And I think he came by here about 20 years ago. Hans? You want to know if I know Hans? But of course. He invented one of the most incredible flying machines of the Cosmodrome. Christmas! Good old Hans! Even after that dumb and dirty trick he played on me. But I wouldn't give to see him again. What do you mean? What did he do to you? <sighs> Hans Varlberg and his famous flying wing. See? He invented this kind of spring-loaded launcher. Capable of projecting a weird rocket into the stratosphere. It was red revolutionary hot. And I was going to be its first test pilot. Holy cow, what a job. And then several days before the launch, Hans disappears into thin air like that. Poof. The test program? Well, it's abandoned. Just disappeared like that? Without saying where he was going? You see, he wanted to hit the stars, but not bombs. If you get my drift. Oh. One day Hans finally worked out what his launcher was really for. The generals have always called the shots here, you realize, and, and when they asked Hans to screw a nuclear warhead onto his flying wing, well, he wasn't a happy man. So he left. Just like that. That's crazy. If everything was ready, why didn't you just wind the thing up and go flying after all? Nobody understood machines here like Hans, especially not his own utopian inventions. You see, such inventions only live and breathe with their creator in the saddle. Without him, 
space travel became damn near impossible. And since then, well, I still like to travel, but in my own little way. I'm beginning to understand a bit about how Hans Vorlberg's inventions work. What is this one like? I don't really know. As you can see, I'm a soldier, ma'am. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not a goddamn aerospace engineer. Interesting. I've left my train in the Komkalsgrad station. Do you think it'll get in the way? If I were you, I'd get out of there as quick as possible. That's exactly what I intend to do, as soon as the director gives me back my automaton's hands. That's why I want to go to Arrowbad. So go. Go quickly. And get back what belongs to you. With a man like that, you never know what might happen. You don't like him very much, then. I'll confess that since his accident, he's gone a little doolally. <laughs> These Dulali. days, I stay clear of That's him. awesome. And you should do the same. I don't really have the choice. Yeah, he's total nutbag. Don't we you know. find it strange to see so many birds in the Cosmodrome? It's the Iron Rafters. I love them. Nowadays, they can enjoy a bit of good old peace and quiet here. So, of course, they turn up and flock low. It's crazy how different his answers are Sometimes now that he's sober. Sometimes I say Soyuz onto them. Just like the good old days. Soyuz? Soyuz is the last Golden Eagle left in active service. We had to get the dumb canaries out of the way before takeoff, so what did we do? Set the eagle on them. And you should see them fly. Soyuz? He's like a cat among the pigeons. Magnificent. So, it's weird because it seems like all these places have a couple of things in common. There's like some type of vehicle uh, that that Hans has created, like we took the train to the university and had the mechanical bird. Then now he's got like this mechanical eagle and this thing that launches rockets or bombs, like, very bizarre. Does Arrowbad mean anything to you? Arrowbad. It's been a long time since I heard that name. It's a spa resort, ma'am. The top brass of the regime would go there. As well as convalescing soldiers, tired politicians, profiteers and racketers, the whole caboodle. They'd go live it up, all expenses paid. One privilege I never got. Just two steps away from becoming the nation's hero and no free holiday for me. And where exactly is this place? Further east. We never had to know where exactly. Airship was programmed to take vacationers there. From here. Okay, well. Thank you so much for helping me. I'm sorry to have woken you up like that. It's been great talking to you, ma'am. I think I'll take 40 winks right now. <laughs> yeah, you better. Okay, so let's go check out this area then, because this is the last area that's that we haven't explored. It looks like this ship thing is still here. It's very cool. Look at all these birds, it's insane. They look like flies. Oh. So this is the thing we saw from that other angle. I need a key. Oh, god damn. All right, let's check the other side here. Maybe this guy has a key. Or maybe there's a key up here. This is possible. All right, what do we have going on in here? Some type of control room. Okay. Oh wait, right there, boom, key. Probably not the key, it looks like it fits right here. Okay. Doesn't appear to be doing anything. Oh, this thing's jammed. Uh huh. Oh, this thing's jammed. It doesn't look like anything's fired up at all, like. Sure, the key is in, but the buttons aren't working. This thing I can't access. Interesting. Okay. Let's head back and see if we have a key to that 
uh, that ship. This guy's he's probably sleeping, but I'll wake his ass up. Be like, listen, dude. <laughs> you keep giving me all these little hints and then not giving me the full shabam. Sir? Uh... My head. Oh. Okay, airship. Do you think the airship still works? No idea. It's been so long since it was used. And then I've got to learn how to use it, too. You won't have any worries there. It has an automatic Yeah, pilot. we saw that in there. Go visit if you want. Here's the key. Oh, thanks. thanks. Couldn't have told me that before. Okay, now, let's right, get going. I'm off. See you later. Don't you worry about me. It's like, that's kind of goofy. I, I wish that he would have brought that up earlier. I just think that would have made a little bit more sense, but whatever. Oh, went the other way. This will be pretty cool if this is what we end up taking, but we're gonna have to take this somewhere. Well, we're gonna have to take this to Aeroblad. Or Aerobad, Aerobad, Aerobad? I can't pronounce it. And, uh, and then we're probably gonna have to come back because our train is here. So remember, this is all to get that, uh, Helena Romanski. Okay, now we're in. Doesn't look like that works. Yep, great. Super duper. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We're gonna end the episode here. When we come back, we're gonna figure out a way to get this fired up. Obviously, it has to do with that control panel. But, uh, it seems like at least, at least we got in here, we got the key, and aside from that, I mean, I don't know. I'll head back to that control panel, and we'll see what's up. Okay, thanks guys so much, and I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye.